Today we're talking about the brand new Lumix S52X. Got one right here. About seven different features I want to talk about. Plus, we're going to take a look at the new firmware update that's coming for the Lumix S52. Let's jump right in. First up is going to be raw video data output over HDMI. And with that, we're going to get two different flavors. We're going to get ProRes RAW out as well as Blackmagic RAW out. And with that, the list of compatible devices also expands just a little bit. We're going to get the Atomos Ninja 5. We're also going to have compatibility with the Atomos Shogun Connect and a Blackmagic RAW Assist. Speaking of recording options, we are going to have all intro recording formats available to us in the X. So when you're looking at your different resolutions, you're going to see a 10 for the 10 bit. And you're going to have an L or an I. Now the L stands for long GOP or long group of pictures. That's more of a compressed format. And you're going to have the I, which basically is a frame by frame encoding and decoding on the footage that you're recording. That's going to be really helpful for you whenever you are in the editing process. It's not going to have to uncompress that footage when you're doing playback when you're editing. All intro is going to give us a higher bit rate as well. So we're going to be able to get up to 800 megabits per second when we're recording in cinema 4K and 4K. Now the trade-off for that is going to be that your file sizes when you're using the all intro format are going to be a lot larger than when you're using the long gop. But as I mentioned, a little bit easier on the computer whenever you're doing the editing. Next up, Apple ProRes internals. So we're going to be able to record Apple ProRes to the SD cards internally on the S52X and we'll be able to do that in either the ProRes 422 or the ProRes 422HQ. Next up, we're going to get USB SSD recording on this camera, which is going to give us access to larger drives and also at higher data rates as well. A few of the drives that are going to be compatible are going to be the Samsung T5, the T7, there's a SanDisk Extreme Pro, and there's also a SanDisk Pro Blade. Those are a few of the compatible devices. I'll drop a link down below with a full list of compatible SSD drives that you can use with the S5 Mark II X. Another cool feature we're going to have on the S5 Mark II X is going to be the live streaming capabilities over wired and wireless as well as USB tethering. This option beyond just live streaming is going to allow you to control multiple cameras or a single camera on a PC or a Mac in a LAN environment. Also, you will be able to do live streaming out in the field on the go. You can connect your camera to your smartphone with the Lumix Sync app. Next up on the photography side, we're going to have live view composite available in the S52X. This is really helpful whenever you want to create some creative shots at nighttime, like doing star trails or maybe the headlights downtown, city lights things like that. This comes in, in handy and is a great feature we saw in the S5. Next is more of an aesthetics change to the camera itself and that is going to be the first all blacked out design of a Lumix camera. So the only thing on that camera that's going to be red is going to be the record button that sits up on top. Looks really, really cool. It's just got a really cool vibe to it. So let's shift gears and just touch on the version 2 firmware update that's coming out for the S5 Mark II. There's going to be two things in this particular firmware update. Number one, we're going to be adding in Live View Composite into the S5 Mark II. So we've already got that. We've seen in the S5. That's going to be already in the X. We're going to get that now in the S5 Mark II. And then secondly is going to be a paid upgrade. And so you have the option to get an upgrade key. And that is going to be to add the raw video data output over HDMI to the S5 Mark II. And that's going to be a price, I believe, of $199 to do that. If you want to learn more about the base features that are in the S52 and the S52X, the things that they share that are similar. I've got a video about that that I recorded a few months back when the S52 was announced. I'll drop that up on the screen for you. Also, if there's any other features you'd like for me to talk about in the video, please drop those comments down below. I'll also put a few links down in the description of where you can purchase the camera. I'll also put a device compatibility list for the SSD drives and anything else that I might find interesting that y'all might enjoy looking at. Other than that, my name is Todd White. Please click subscribe if you want to see more videos about Lumix cameras, configuration and setup of the S5, the S52, the S52X. And if you want to see any videos in the future from me, please drop those down in the comments below and we'll see you on the next one.